So I had mentioned just now that I have been picking up uh, some warmers here and there on OfferUp or different websites like, you know, Facebook uh, Marketplace and stuff. And um, a lot of these warmers, sometimes they will come with uh, wax and the, the seller will either sell the wax um, or just give it to me as kind of like a, here you go, part of the sale. Um, which is really nice and appreciated. Um, I have noticed that some of the wax is um, scents that have been discontinued, which again, I'm totally cool with, and I love smelling things that, um, that otherwise I wouldn't have the opportunity to warm. But um, just a little kind of precursor to that, it's gonna affect some of my reviews, right? So the first guy that we have is Southern Sweet Tea. And um, because this has been discontinued, I wanna say like maybe back in 2017, I don't have a scent description. And there's not one in the back of, um, you know, there's typically not a scent description in here. But uh, she, when she sold me the, the warmer, which I love the warmer, by the way, it's beautiful, and it works really well. Um, but the the wax that she sold me, she said that they were full bars, and they weren't really full bars. They were kind of, you know, lower in the, in the tray. And also, somehow they must have gotten warm or heated or something because they were kind of off when I went to use them. So it just kind of told me maybe they were not level to the ground and then they, when they hardened back up again, they were kind of in a weird position. Neither here nor there, I think I've read somewhere in my research online that once upon a time, and you could still do this today, I guess, I'm not sure, I don't do this, but somewhere online it said that people were encouraged to warm the wax, uh, enjoy the top notes, which are just like the the first initial, you know, fragrance, like the notes of the, of the scent that when you first warm it, that hits your nose and that registers with you. And then I guess you could pour it back into these clamshells and then rewarm it at a different time to enjoy the base notes which is fine, but um, I think that's what this woman did. I think she had, on a couple of these bars, had warmed them, put them back, and then decided, you know, probably years later that she wanted to sell the warmer and her wax. And, um, cause when I warmed these, I did not get any top notes. They had a little bit of a something something fragrance, but it wasn't very strong. Um, and yeah, that's, that's what I can kind of tell you on that. Um, so Southern Sweet Tea, uh, it's, it's got this, it's got this, um, uh, masculine quality to it. I would assume that if you were to get the, um, the bar fresh from, you know, being manufactured, it would probably be sweeter than what I experienced. I did not get any sweet tea uh, scent out of this, but what, would I get this again if it was offered, um, like either in a bring back my bar or just brought, you know, put put into the um, catalog? I would, I really would. I think it's um, interesting, it's kind of sophisticated, um, and yeah, I liked Southern Sweet Tea. So there's that guy, and then uh, the second one that she gave me was wild what a melon um and it's got this like image of like a little kid bicycle on it so in my research i saw that i think this was maybe part of like a children's collection or something like that um which is cool totally fine i warmed this in my son's bathroom and it did good it was um just it to me it smelled like straight honeydew and watermelon, and I loved it. It was lovely. Don't have the scent description again, but 
it's still pretty, you can tell it's like a mess. Um, it was a really nice scent. Would I buy this again? Yeah, I would. I would probably pick up a couple of bars of this, um, especially it just reminds me of summer and like yummy, yummy, juicy um, honeydew and watermelon. So that's a really good one. Then I got uh, a not scentsy uh, bar thing. Um, and this is a Scentsationals uh, Marshmallow Krispies Sugar Rush. So I don't know who sells this, maybe Walmart, but um, I did not want to warm this in my Scentsy warmer just because there is a warranty issue. You can warm any of the Scentsy waxes in the Scentsy warmer, but as soon as you warm um, a non Scentsy wax in there, it voids the warranty. So what I did, and I think I kind of alluded to this um, in my past videos, is I actually got a dish. Now this dish is a Scentsy dish, and this is the dish that goes to the Love Element Warmer. I didn't buy the whole Element Warmer, so don't think I did that. Um, I just got the dish, and because it was an Element dish, I felt okay to kind of experiment with it and it was eight dollars and i figured if i trash it then you know then oh well but um i've had these forever these are just like tabletop countertop um like mug warmers almost so ooh, as i drop it so i've had these um just in my offices uh i have a couple and this is what i used to put this dish on and just to warm it um, I made sure, you know, the, the wattage was all good. Actually, actually, I think that this wattage was a little um, less than what the wattage in the Element Warmer that this is made for um, is, and I felt comfortable doing that. Um, it's the same kind of deal. You got your little, it's got a light switch to let you know that it's on, and you just put the dish on there. So, um, we'll, we'll start with the scent of this Marshmallow Krispies. Um, <laughs> it's so uncanny. It smells exactly like Fruity Pebbles. Yeah, Fruity Pebbles. Um, ooh, you would think I know my cereal. I take that back. Fruity Pebbles is my first impression, but it really smells like Fruit Loops. That's what it smells like, Fruit Loops. Um, did I enjoy the scent? Heck yeah, I did. It was fantastic. I loved it. I loved smelling Fruit Loops um, in the morning and it was really, really yummy. Um, I was, after the fact though, so happy that I did not warm it in my um, other warmers because it left, and you can't see this now because I've cleaned it because I'm not a disgusting, but um, it left this gross residue Thing that was in there I don't know what it was I'm not sure what waxes they use in this stuff why there's such a difference um, it, it has probably has to do with like the oil because it was like a like a tacky residue that at first I took like a toothpick and I'm like huh what is that and and it it formed more and more as I warmed it which to me made me believe that it was like releasing the oils and just doing something really funky to your dish. So um, I was able to get it off with some oven cleaner. That's what I had to use because um, I wasn't gonna fight it all day long and, and uh, with the sponge. But I used oven cleaner, left it overnight, and it took it off pretty well, but um, Wow, was that an eye opener? I just had no clue. I mean, you always think, okay, uh, scent waxes or scent waxes and blah, 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 and we don't understand why Scentsy has these warranty things. It's because of that. There is such a difference on these things. Um, obviously, Scentsy wax is designed to melt at like a lower temperature than other waxes, and being that this was an element, warmer i don't think that that affected how this should have performed i just think that's how these are 
these perform. That's what they do. And if you have another warmer at home or you got a warmer from Target or Walmart or wherever, and you're buying these waxes and it's doing something funky to the dish, it's because of the wax. So I'll just say that. Um, but yeah, if, uh, if Sensi wanted to make a scent like this, I would buy it all day long. It was really, really good. Um, and I enjoyed that. So moving on, that is my spiel for uh, the wax warmers. We have some more wax to go through. I've had this for quite a while. Um, I have been warming the wax bars. Of, oh, sorry, I haven't even said Plumeria Peach. Um, I've been warming the wax bars and I love it. It's just so beautifully done. It's like a floral, peachy, if you like peach flavors or scents, um, you will love this. This, oh, excuse me, this was April's scent of the month. So I must've gotten this little tester in March. Um, scent description is ripe pineapple and luscious peach blend sweetly over a bed of blooming plumeria. So um, I remember this. I remember first warming this tester and these are nice sized testers. So I got like two, two kind of test, uh, two goes at it uh, to really experience it. And that's why I picked up so many bars because that's the point. Um, then we have a tester, uh, excuse me, a sample of palm trees and ocean breeze. Palm trees and ocean breeze. Oh, don't tell me I don't have the scent description. Um, this is the, excuse me, this is the scent for last month, May. And there was an issue, I think, with release of these wax bars, actually, even. But I had gotten this in the whiff box. And it's really nice. It's very um, aquatic. In nature and the palm trees gives it like a nice like a green um, how do I want to say that like a plant like almost like a like a water lily or something um, but I liked palm trees and ocean breeze it's kind of like that teal color it's really pretty so that was good Moving on, um, this was an old bar that I got with an, a purchase of an uh, old um, warmer. This is called Pumpkin Roll. Pumpkin Roll, uh, its scent description says creamy pumpkin pie filling. Excuse me, let's try that again. Creamy pumpkin pie filling, filling <laughs> surrounded with yellow cake, pecans, butter, and spice. Let me tell you. I am not a huge sweet person, but each and every one of those uh, items in that scent description are things that I love. I love to smell, I love to eat. And so this was great. This was wonderful. I remember warming this, I think in April and um, on some like really cold like days. And it was lovely. If this comes back, uh, this coming up catalog, you must get this. Let me read that again. Um, yellow cake, pumpkins, butter, spice, pumpkin pie filling. It's great. It just sounds like Thanksgiving and it smells like Thanksgiving. And I loved it. So that was wonderful. Um, then we have satin sheets. Now this is uh, one that I did not get from Scentsy Direct. This is an old one from uh, the, from a purchase from another person and it it was really great um, but since then I've been warming actual more recent bars and um, this guy had been kind of muted so again I don't know if they pre-warmed it or what or maybe they had it in a place like in a warm place that some of those um, that fragrance was released but I, I knew I liked it I knew I did and so I warmed it in my warmer but um, I didn't know I liked it that much until I got the actual fresh bars because satin sheets is lovely. Uh, let me read you scent description. This is a keeper. Um, sensual and earthy, sandalwood, perfectly paired with rich, creamy vanilla. Uh, and it's just sexy. 
and I love it. You should love it too. I'm throwing it. Um, that's a great one. Then we have Simply Irresistible. So Simply Irresistible is one, I think it's been discontinued, um, but the scent description says, lavender, can you see that? Lavender with a strong woody background of amber moss and musk. Amber, moss, and musk. Yeah, I remember this one. Um, this was really strong and I have, I think, I think she sold me two of these. Um, and I loved it. I think I warmed it in the kitchen, which was a mistake. I should have warmed it in the bedroom just because um, I wasn't able to appreciate it all that much in the kitchen with, you know, things that go on and you're cooking and you're this and you're that. But it's, it's like satin sheets. It's got that, um, like a nice, calming, kind of sensual, um, musk to it and so i've learned my lesson on that would i buy that again absolutely Sim simply irresistible and um i would and i will warm the next one in my bedroom so moving on we have pink sugarberry mint and i picked up so many of these wax bars it's crazy um so the fact that i'm just showing you one i must have been opening different clamps but uh Pink Sugarberry Mint was the scent of the month for March, I think. And I loved it. It was great. Um, it is great. If, and I think it's still available. It's kind of a fun um, scent for people who like, um, like berry and mint combinations. And I know it's kind of big with the, with the scents of community out there. So the scent description for this is plump raspberry is delightfully dusted with sugar and the sweetest hint of peppermint. And I know it says peppermint, and I know I say this every time. It just doesn't really smell like peppermint to me. I mean, obviously it is, they know what they put in there, but maybe the berry to me comes off more like spearmint. Either way, I love it. It's got a great punch to it. You can smell this down the hall, like across the house, you can smell this which is really nice. Um, and there's that. Then we have Bloom and Beach. I went through this uh, bar of Bloom and Beach. Do I have it? This was from the Mother's Day collection. Um, the scent description for that is the surf's up and the sun's out as a note of beach roses and blush peony join sea jasmine to usher in the fun. And, um, I really liked this. I would not say I loved it. It's just really like rose scented. It's, and I love rose, don't get me wrong, but um, it's kind of, I mean, the peony kind of evens it out and gives it a little bit more updated, I guess, rose garden scent. And, Sea Jasmine, I mean, probably the combination of those is what, you know, makes it a little bit more palatable, but this was, uh, when I was warming it, it was just kind of hard to get through, to be really honest with you. Um, it was very rose forward. So, um, yeah, I liked it a lot, Bloom and Beach. That's my review. Um, and, then we have Just Breathe. Just Breathe was, I think I got this, I think I got this through um, buying it from someone else. And I think it is still available um, in this catalog. Let me see really quick. Just Breathe, it is still available. Um, the scent description for this says, breathe deeply as Soothing eucalyptus, zesty lemon, and a medley of mints comfort and rejuvenate. So, um, in the empty clamshell, it's not really that strong. And I feel like that's not the case. I feel like this is one that they had um, previously warmed or maybe it was kept in a weird place and it lost some of its pungency because they can't smell it now. 
and I don't think it was that strong when I warmed it. So um, I will get another bar, a more you know recently um, manufactured bar, and I'll let you guys know when I, you know, a, a better review. But um, I yeah, I don't know. This was not memorable, like the sweet or sweet southern tea or something like that, southern sweet tea. That was memorable, this was not. So we'll just see what the next bar smells like. And then um, I got through a Stitch Experiment 626. Um, this guy I really loved. I don't have the set description in front of me, but um, I know it has like maybe Valencia orange and it's like an interesting um, combination. This I loved. This was really great. Um, I got the Experiment 626 and the Experiment 624. I will say out of the two, I thought my husband was going to like the 624, which is like the, the girl version, um, more. And he actually liked this one more. So it's definitely got like, it's like a orange peel, And that's what I'm keeping in the um, clam. I, it's, it's what I smell. But this is in my Scentsy Club and it's gonna stay there because it's no longer available. My husband liked it so much that, um, heaven forbid, I not be able to get my hands on it again. Um, but yeah, if you can get this, this is a really great one and I would continue buying it. So I'm gonna continue buying it. So to answer the question of would I buy it again, yes. Yes, I am. Um, and that's what I have for you guys today. So I'm sorry that was so hodgepodgey. Um, it was a lot of product to get through. I am constantly going through more and more bars. Um, and I love, you know, writing down and, you know, remembering what I thought of each one. I do my best to ask uh, my son and my husband their opinions and so hopefully I've done a good job of sharing that with you today um, I don't have any more oddball stuff not to say that I won't come across it again in my uh, journey here with buying stuff but um, all in all I'm so happy with all of the product that I have used and I will continue giving you guys my reviews. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you like what you see on this channel, subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. So have a great day.